In this video, we will show you how to build a business process by yourself in the control tower. To demonstrate, we will automate a real use case. There is a list of URLs that points to company profiles on Indeed.com. We want the bot to open each URL and extract some target metrics around ratings, particularly overall ratings, life work balance, management, and leadership improvement. It is possible to face a not found company exception or even a wrong domain. We will be implementing and debugging each task and then creating a business process based on the implemented components. First, we will create a recording which will open just one single page and extract all the necessary fields via XPath. Later on, as a part of the business process, this recording will run multiple times depending on number of input data records. Just for debugging purpose in the recorder, we will specify one particular URL. We can play the recording and check the execution result file to make sure that all target metrics get extracted correctly. For our use case, we also want the business process to handle exceptions such as wrong domain or not found. We will need to create one more bot task to perform such a validation, and we will do it in the recorder. The output variables can have three values, valid, not underscore found, and wrong underscore domain. These values will be used later on in the business process. We will publish both recordings to our local control tower and open it via the provided link. We will create a new business process. Business process will accept input data only in CSV format. Physically, it is a plain text file, so we can create it in Notepad. First, we will add headers. Note that the header names should be equal to appropriate recording variables. Second, we will add records of data where symbol comma would be a separator between different columns. If needed, we can review the file in Microsoft Excel. The CSV file can be uploaded to our business process via the Data tab, and now we can proceed to the Workflow tab. We will add a Start element as the point of entry for our business process. Then, we will place a bot task which performs the validation. All published tasks from Recorder are available on Other tab. We are simply connecting output type of one element with input of another. Then, we need to add an element of type Rule to consider possible outcomes. All variables from the input file and first step can be used in subsequent steps and business rules. Our Rule element will check value of the variable is underscore valid which is populated in the recorder script. Make sure that this variable from the recording is mentioned in the export section of the generated bot task. When validation is passed successfully, then web scrapping tasks should be performed. If we get the value wrong underscore domain, we do not do anything and no further steps are performed. If we get the value not underscore found, we want that URL to be analyzed by a human, because it is possible that something changed or we have the incorrect URL. For displaying the current URL on the form, we can simply click on the appropriate element on the right panel, called Data Elements, and a new variable will be added to the form. We will add Company ID in the same way and preview the task. In addition, we can make the URL clickable. To complete the manual task, we need to add an answer input in which user will be typed the correct URL. We will set value of unique code to be the same as the input file column name, so it will be rewritten. Let's preview it one more time. The outcome of the manual task will go to the bot task web scrapping and then to the end. At this moment, we have finished designing our business process. And now we can run it.
Each record from the input data list will pass through the workflow. A URL will be validated first, and then web scrapping will be performed. There are two bots available, Current Desktop and another bot's desktop connected via RDP. Parallel execution reduces the total duration for process to be complete. From the Result tab, we can monitor statistics. As we can see, only five out of the six records are completely processed. From the Step section, we can identify which particular step is pending. Here we see that it is our manual task, Find Website URL. It means bot faced a not underscore found situation and cannot complete the entire process until human provides the correct URL. We built such a workflow because the resolution of not found exception requires human judgment. We do not want our bot finding and grabbing a similar company. It should be exactly the one intended for web scrapping. To perform that task, we will go to Workspace, find a task, and accept it. After some manual search, we will come to the conclusion that one letter was missing in the company name. We will provide a new, correct URL and press Submit. Now the bot should be able to complete the process. Now statistics show 100% completion of process. From the Workflow tab, we can track how many records went through each stream. The final results can be easily exported into an Excel file. There, we can perform deeper data analysis using wide Microsoft Excel capabilities, like filtering, sorting, and various data diagrams.